Have you ever enforced this order? Yes, we have. And tell me how you enforce it. What do you mean by enforcing it? You I, mean, yeah, it's a violation. It's a misdemeanor violation court order. So you can be arrested. I understand yes. that. How have you enforced it? Being arresting the subject. So And booking the phone. Okay, so do you find them recording in there and doing Oh, yeah, that? they come in. They record it, yes. And do they tell you they're recording or you catch them recording or how do you do it? Usually they tell us they're going to record, yes. So, and then when they tell you they're recording yes. and you say stop recording, yes. then you arrest them if they don't. Then usually we ask them, erase everything that you record, yes. Okay, yeah. so you look through the phone and make sure they erase yeah. everything? If or? they denied it, we book as evidence, the phone. And then you book them also for lying to police? Usually we try not to do that, ma'am. Usually we try to reason to people. Okay. And most people go, okay, I can't do it. Then they stop. Okay. Okay. Can you answer one more question? Sure, this is Susan Bassey, and this is not a video about police transparency. It's a video about California's courthouses, where judges and lawyers have been issuing local rules that prevent people from recording inside those courthouses for a number of years. But more alarming, Judges have been issuing standing orders about recording in those courthouses, which means you can be arrested if you record. And I'm going to explain how these orders work. This is the Government Center in Ventura, California. It's hard to tell which building is which. Some are buildings that contain executive government workers, and some contain judicial government workers, meaning judges and court staff. But it's hard to tell that this is a courthouse, other than a few window markings. And so I was just out recording where to go and what it looks like in Ventura, California. And when the security doors opened, this is what happened next. What's that? Yeah. Is, you have a local rule or something about it? Uh, can I get a copy of that, please? In California, local rules are made up by judges and lawyers. They require a certain procedure to implement and put into place. But they are the policies and procedures for the courthouse. They are not law. And lately, there have been a number of judges throughout the state of California that are not only relying on local rules, but they're also issuing standing orders about not recording in courthouses. And those standing orders then can be used for a criminal proceeding if a courthouse decides that there's information getting out to the public that they don't want people seeing, especially information about how judges and lawyers interact inside that courthouse. Uh, so, I, is this the same one that's posted up on the uh, wall up there? This is the full one, ma'am. It's four pages. You can read it, okay? Okay. And yeah. uh, your name and badge number, oh, please? It's Ananta. Thank you. 3364. I appreciate it. So, why do we have a right to record in public and a right to record police officers who we know are recording us, but we don't have a right to record public employees and judges who are elected officials in public courthouses? And the answer to that is judges, because lawyers and judges are making up the rules about what we can record and what we can't. We build big fancy courthouses with lots of glass where we invite the public in and tell them that we are transparent and fair inside these courthouses. And then we make rules and policies that say we can't record in certain places, because judges are making rules about what can be recorded and what can't. And this feels selective and grossly unfair. It is hard to see a separation of powers in Ventura County because the government building is also the courthouse. And so you have members of the Sheriff's Department and the District Attorney working in the same courthouse where these rules appear to apply. And for that reason, I didn't record the District Attorney's office when I went inside that courthouse. But I want to read you the order and see what you think about judges making up orders about who can record in courthouses, and who can't. So now I'm in Ventura, California. And I'm going to read parts of this court order that was issued in 2018 and the relevant parts related to public transparency inside that courthouse. 
The order states as follows. No one except authorized court and court security personnel may engage in photographing, recording, or broadcasting, or activate any camera, microphone, recorder, or broadcasting device in any courtroom, courthouse, or court facility in the county where the court conducts business, including the full entry security screening areas, lobby, courtrooms, judges' chambers, clerk's office, court offices, and the hallways adjacent to these areas, except as Ventura County Superior Court Local Rule 26 and California Rules of Court 1.150, or as permitted by this order, or other order of a judicial officer as set forth herein. Court facilities do not include the offices occupied by the non-court agencies, or government agencies, that include the District Attorney's Office, Victim Services, the Public Defender's Office, and the County Library. Those are county agencies, public agencies, and they are not governed by the court. They are governed by the local government. So it is surprising that all of these agencies are contained in the same building as the courthouse, and this order is passed out at the front of the courthouse where people might believe that they don't have a right to record in those other areas. The order goes on to say, for purposes of this order, the following definitions apply. A camera is defined as any device that has a primary function of recording images and is not part of a multifunction device such as a smartphone. A wearable electronic device or wearable camera is defined as any miniature electronic device that is worn under, with, or on top of clothing and having a primary purpose of image capture or recording, such as Google Glass, GoPro cameras, and lapel cameras. Personal electronic device is any device capable of communicating, transmitting, receiving, or recording messages, images, sound, or data. And remember that after 2020, when all the courthouses in California had to be closed, they started recording all the court proceedings and broadcasting those proceedings on private business platforms, including Zoom, Microsoft Team, and a platform known as BlueJeans. And so the court is deciding what businesses are allowed to record and who is allowed to record, not only the courthouses, but the court proceedings. I'm recording. I'm a journalist. And I want to know there is a court rule about not recording in that building over there. Do you know about that? Uh, no, I do not. So the presiding judge issued an order that you can't record in that building. And I spoke to one of the deputies and they said they will arrest if someone is recording over there. Okay. But they put the district attorney's office in there, which means we can't not only not record in the courthouse, but they've moved a county government entity over there too. I notice you guys aren't in that building so the rule wouldn't apply to you guys. So that means we get to continue to record police officers but the attorneys are hiding behind that order and I'm a little concerned about that. Attorneys and judges have immunity just like police officers do. Attorneys have litigation privilege which gives them immunity to do a great many things as officers of the court and judges have immunity for their judicial duties meaning making orders. So these orders that say there can be no recording in public courthouses came from a judge, not public policy that supports the right to know the business of what's going on in those courthouses, but judges who don't want to be recorded, judges who get in trouble when they're recorded. They're the ones making these orders and causing taxpayers to pay money if the district attorney and the sheriff's departments intend to prosecute these orders. So we're now going to do some public records requests in Ventura, California and see how much these orders are costing and why the judges don't want the public to know what's going on inside those courthouses. Okay. 